bad at vlogging, so I'm gonna cover a few parts that I missed. First up, today is Saturday, and yesterday left the training farm. It's a great experience. I realized just how much of a cocky American I was. The trainer helped set me straight. And last night, I uh, got to meet the next group, two Mongolians and a Norwegian. And then this morning, I left the Brisbane YHA and went to the airport and flew to Adelaide. And I am now at the Adelaide airport. I have to get a ride to the bus station, put my stuff in a locker, buy a few things, maybe go to the office of my next employer, and then go back to the bus station, hop a bus, which will be a nine hour bus ride into the outback starting at 6 p.m. So it'll be overnight run. I get to my stop at like 3.30 in the morning. It's gonna be rough. I'll be working at a sheep station. I must add, Adelaide is in southern Australia, and the further south you go here, the colder it gets, and I'm feeling it. I uh, had to run the dryer twice at the hostel this morning to get my laundry dry, and it still didn't dry everything, so I have semi-damp pants and a damp sweatshirt. Well, finally made it to a sort of cool destination. I've noticed that the central part of Adelaide is completely surrounded by a park. I'm show you a picture of uh, on a map right here. That's pretty cool. Getting here was chaos. There's definitely some footy tournament or something that just let out because there are tons of people in like team attire. I wouldn't call them jerseys, but yeah, it's probably a, a football tournament nearby, maybe at that stadium over there. But this park, I mean, the middle of winter, it's so cold. Everyone's wearing scarves and stuff, but this park is beautiful. Look at that. Everything's so lush and green. I've got about an hour and a half to my bus ride. I don't know what I'll do for dinner, probably Mexican. I haven't had that in a while. Hopefully they didn't do it too spicy here. I have confirmed that someone's gonna pick me up at the bus stop at 3.30 in the morning. The stop border is on a uh, side road that borders the property where I'll be working, so that'll be nice. I don't know if they'll make me work the first day or not. Hard to say, but we'll see. I'll have to hang up my clothes as fast as possible. It's mostly just the jeans and my jacket that are still damp besides these pants and this sweatshirt. But that's the update. They do have some pretty wild architecture here. This whole wall is a TV screen. I mean, it needs some maintenance, but pretty sweet. Finally made it to the station, and uh, I guess breakfast is in an hour. And so far, it sucks. I got one blanket, it's freezing out. There's no pillow, and uh, well, my jeans are still wet. I don't know if they'll be dry enough by the morning. I'll probably spend my first week having a cold. This will be my favorite part, is just ripping through the outback in a ute. Don't have many uh, opportunities like this where I'm from. Day one, I got our first flat tire. It's wild out here. Alrighty, end of day one at Bulgogna Station. And this is what I look like. This is all sheep blood. I didn't take video of it and I never will because it's pretty gruesome, but we trim the tails so they don't get maggots or, and you get the tags and the little ear stamps and stuff. And it's just a bloody mess. I should have worn my red shirt and said my gray shirt today, but fortunately these are my garbage jeans and I will probably be throwing away some clothes by the time I'm done here because from here, I'd like to do a cattle station or a place that focuses on machinery. Whatever comes first, I guess. Despite this being an absolutely chaotic first day, forming and popping blisters on every single one of my fingers, I don't mind it here. It's a humbling experience. It's a good test of my patience, but I will stick it through, that's for sure. Got blood on my hat too. I might switch to the cheaper hat that I got from Visit Oz. They're trying to get some bed sheets and stuff for me, pillow, whatever. Apparently I was supposed to bring my own, but I found some sheets next to my room. I just threw them in the wash, but the washing machine sounds very strange. I don't think it works very well. Yeah, I don't know if you can hear that. Just like boom, ba -doom, ba -doom. But things are getting better and better. Had a good lunch. Not sure what it was, but it's 
paper. Also, I was able to see what was in the back of the ute that I put my luggage in last night. And apparently I put my duffel bag in a pile of dead lamb carcasses. Hey. What happens is if the moms and lambs can't find each other, then the lambs get disowned and they're left to die. Pretty sad, but that's the circle of life. But we just made a whole bunch. I think probably had maybe 1,400 sheep that we did today, or maybe, I heard 780. I don't know if that's both combined or only one, uh, males or females. Yeah, crazy day. Boss let me turn in early. Those are some pretty cool drone shots. I was looking for kangaroo. I guess we'll have to wait till next time. Anyways, got my bed stuff. I'm mostly settled in at this point. I also, since this light doesn't work, I just uh, put my solar light there instead. And when it does, I just stick it in the window and it charges up again. Uh, I've moved my towels and stuff to the shower area, so now my hat claims the door. Uh, I've just got a couple other stuff hanging around. Sweatshirt, jacket, raincoat, and uh, my blood clothes. <laughs> well, so far, day two is going pretty well. I was going to be riding in the plane with Colin, he's the pilot here. But uh, I guess that idea was never proposed to the boss. Uh, they only have four dirt bikes and I'm number five. I did get to ride the dirt bike to this yard, same place we were yesterday. Uh, after the fact, the boss gave me his Land Cruiser to uh, pick up all the tails and clippings from yesterday and go dump them in the woods somewhere. If you could even call these woods. I had to go far and wide to find some good trees to hide everything behind. The others are out mustering right now, but we will be tagging more sheep today. And I'm going to try to be on the easier end of the assembly line so I can give my blisters a chance to recover. Here they come. And you can see the plane in the far background there. There goes Colin. It does still blow my mind just how big this place is. Uh, for example, I'm pretty sure I am here, like right here where my finger is in Anzac. And that's the homestead there. And this right here is like, I don't know, 20 minute drive. And yet it's only a third the length of the other side. <laughs> Probably takes a whole hour to go out the other way. But yeah, I think I'm here, and I think they're corralling the sheep from at least Grace, Lloyd's, and Hayward. But that's where the wool factory is, and I think we came down through here somehow. Or maybe straight down? Yeah, I think it was straight down and over. But yeah, it's a pretty big place. I have it split into thirds, though, so we've got these two are about the same, but this one's like twice as large. And these colored lines are what we call boar runs. That's when you go to all these, see these spots here? Boar, boar, boar. That's where all the water tanks are. That's what these windmills are. The windmills pull water up from the ground and they go out the side into a massive tank and then it goes into a trough or two on either side. But with the boar run, you basically go around and you clean out the gutters and it's just this massive loop. I'm sure they don't do it every day, but every now and then. Colin and I did some of them on the way back yesterday. Now, most of the morning, I think what happened is we were supposed to take this road here down to where we are, but instead we went all the way over here 
and that's where Colin made the turn and so we were just going all over the place trying to find a way back and eventually we got back here but it's been a while since I finished my duties here in the yard and they're still bringing them in they're, they were all crowded over there a minute ago but I don't see them anymore oh I do see a motorbike though time to go check in <laughs> see the stars on a smartphone here. Well, okay, maybe only this area. <laughs> My phone's really struggling between the light balances. That's so cool.